हेलो एंड नमस्ते इन कंटिन्यूशन ऑफ प्रोबेबिल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन वी आर गोइंग अहेड विद नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड दिस इज अ पार्ट थ्री विद द प्रॉब्लम्स दिस इज द टेबल विच आई एम कीपिंग एज अ रेफरेंस फॉर एवरीबडी विच इज अ स्टैंडर्ड नॉर्मल टेबल द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन गोज आज इन एन एग्जामिनेशन इट इज लेट डाउन दैट अ स्टूडेंट पासिस इफ इट स्कोर्स secures 30% or more marks he is placed in the first second and or third position or division according as he secures 60% or more marks between 45 and 60% marks the marks between 30% and a 40 45% respectively he gets distinction in case he secures 80% or more marks it is noticed from the result that 10% of the students fail in the examination whereas 5% of them obtained distinction calculate the percentage of students placed in the second division so we have to have get or find out the percentage of the students which are which are those who have placed in the second division now we have to assume the normal distribution for this particular question okay now let this x be the marks in 100 in an examination so x follows the normal distribution with mu sigma squared now x is uh, probability of x is less than 30 is given to us as 10% let that is the student secures if he secure, uh, uh, the the student let down that the student passes if he secures so if he passes if he secures 30% or more marks he uh, is okay fine so probability of x is less than 30 is equals to 0.10 0.10 why it is noticed from the result that 10% of the students fail in the examination so if if the student passes it should he should get 30 or more than 30% but if if he is getting less than 30% he is failing and the percentage has been given to us of the failing of the students of the students failed in the examination is 10% so we have got the probability of x is less than 30 is 0.10 which is the probability of students those who are failing the exams 0.10 that is a 10% 10% 10% is been coming as is nothing but 10 upon 100 which is coming out to be 0.10 0.10 now in the particular graph we have to first understand where will be the position of a z because we have to understand this particular thing from for the from the table statistical table we have to find out the z whether this particular z will lie in the positive z or whether it would be in a negative z so z equals to 0 now when x is equals to 30 x is equals to 30 we have to find out that z now if okay let me let me just remove this particular step now for example if we are putting this x is equal x is less than 30 and corresponding to this particular z say for z1 we are we are taking this as z1 say for somewhere here in the in the positive side say for somewhere here and we will be saying that okay this probability of z less than z1 is equals to 0.1 so now we have to consider all of them z we are which are less than z1 the probability of them have to be 10% have to be 10% so if you observe here the probability of this entire part has to be uh, 0.1 0.1 but if you observe this is not possible this is not possible because this part is already 0.5 this part is already 0.5 so it's not possible to get that particular particular area of this or this area is 0.1 this is not pictorially possible from this as this part itself is giving you the 0.5 this part itself is giving us the 0.5 here okay so this is 0.5 here which is not possible pictorially wherein we, we can't say that this is a point 1 so that means what we have to place this z1 somewhere in the negative so we have to place this z1 somewhere here in the negative part somewhere here in the negative part that is z1 would be negative so if you observe here 
this would be when x is equals to 30, z equals to x minus mu upon sigma, which is 30 minus mu upon sigma is equals to minus of z1. This is the fact because we have got it here. Because of this, we have placed it at minus of z1. So, probability of z is less than minus of z1 is 0 0.10. Now, if you are talking about probability of x is greater than 13, 80, now why are we taking that as, so if, uh, see the statement, whereas 5% of them obtained a distinction, 5% of them is obtained distinction, then when, when the student is getting a distinction, he plays the first, so uh, getting the distinction, when he is getting, he placed in the first and the second position, the distinction case, 80% or more marks. So, if he is getting distinction, if he is getting 80% of more marks. So, now let us see the spot, the statement. Probability of x is greater than or equals to 80 is 0 0.05. So, this is given to us as 5% of them obtain the distinction. So, this is again 10% as the 10%, 5% is same as 5 upon 100, which is 0 0.05. So, we will be getting something like this over here and now again we have to find out the uh, how this particular corresponding z will look like. Now, so for, suppose for example, the, the previous case which we have taken it here, the uh, one, let us, let us say that, okay, we are taking this as say for z2 minus of z2. Now, if you will observe, pro, capital X is greater than uh, 80, pro, uh, pro, probability of capital X is greater than 80. Now, that means we want the probability of z greater than minus of z2 is equals to 0 0.05. Now, if we are putting this here, all of all the points which are greater than this z2, greater than this z2 should be, uh, should lie as 0 0.05. So, this is the area, if you will observe here, this is the area. And if you will observe this point, this area is already of 0 0.5. So, this is not looking like a 0 0.05 part. That's the reason this Z2 have to be in the positive part. Z2 have to be somewhere here in the positive part. And this is what we have we have written it over here. This is what we have written it. So, when X is equals to 80, probability Z equals to X minus mu upon sigma, which is 80 minus mu upon sigma, which is Z2. And therefore, probability of Z greater than equals, greater than equals to Z2 is 0 0.05. So, this would be Z, Z2 here and this would be minus of Z1 over here. So, this is what about the first two. How to decide the particular point is lying in within the positive Z or it's lying in the within the negative Z. We have to check that. Okay. Moving ahead, probability of Z is less than Z1 is my, uh, 0. Point, minus Z1 is 0 0.10. Therefore, probability of Z greater than Z1 is 0 0.10. Just because of the mathematically or you can say that because of the symmetricity and therefore this is what we have seen in the last say uh, last case and therefore by the symmetricity so this particular figure is for the statement which i have given you here and this second figure is for this particular second um, uh, e equation of mathematics and therefore now okay let me just remove it from here Okay, fine. So, now this is the area or the shaded area is of the 0 0.10 um, uh, probability and from this half part is 0 0.5. So, obviously, the remaining part is the probability 0 is less than Z is less than Z1 and which is nothing but 0 0.5 minus. So, what we are doing, doing take 0 0.5 minus the area between this particular R because this is what? So, this zero probability of 0 is less than Z is less than Z1 can be written as 0 0.5 minus 0 0.10 that is 0 0.4 and if you will see this particular table over here and we are looking at and finding out this 0 0.4 somewhere here in the probability. Now, check this 0 0.4, 0 0.4 we, we will not have the 0 0.4 exactly but yes, you can check it here, you can check it here this is 0 0.393980. This is 0 0.3997 and this is 0 0.4015. Now, uh, this is not looking exactly towards or you can say the nearer to the 0 0.5. So, yes, we have to check the value of 0 0.4 between these two points. Now, out of these two points, 0 0.3997 is more nearer to 0 0.4 than 0 0.4015. So, we will accept the value of this particular uh, Z1 as 
1.28 so that is nothing but 0.3997 which is closer to 0.4 and we will be accepting the value of z1 as 1.28 now keeping this or putting this value in that particular equation we'll be getting it this as the equation so it's nothing but mu minus 1.28 sigma is equals to 30 now moving ahead with the other part because this is probability of z greater than z2 is 0.05 which is giving us this type of figure which is nothing but this shaded area is 0.05 we have got this as the half part is 0.5 same kind of scenario will happen here and we will have this particular equation again we have to look at this 0.45 0.45 in the figure in the particular table now 0.45 will observe here 45 0.45 you can check it here this number and this number so this number are so somewhere here 0 0.5 0 0.45 will lie now again the number which is closer to this that is 0 0.4495 and 4505 so if you observe both of them are equal distance from this particular 0 0.45 but the difference is equal in both the cases but we will we will go with the uh, we will go with the previous or the previous which is coming between before the 0 0.45 so we will accept the value 1.64 1.64 as a z2 so keeping this value in the particular equation of this mu and that is mu plus 1.64 sigma is equals to 18 now this is one equation and this is the another equation we are solving this so say, say for this is one this is two solving these two equations simultaneously we are going to get the values of mu as 51.91 which is approximating to 52 because we are we are seeking for the numbers and sigma is 17.12 so we will we don't want this as a perfect number so we will keep sigma as 17.12 so after getting the the uh, mu that is a mean of the distribution and the standard deviation for the uh, distribution normal distribution we can go ahead and find out the next task that is of the probability that a candidate is placed in the second division is equal to the probability that is secures between 45 and 60. So now probability of 45 is less than equal less than x is less than 60 is coming out to be. So we are we are converting this. If you observe from here, we are converting this into the z. So get this particular figure will come as probability of minus 0 0.41 less than z is less than 47. So graphically or pictorially we can show it in this way but because of the symmetricity and because the table values are giving us the values from 0 to the z we have we are supposed to shift this particular area to the other part and that is what we have done it over here. So it's nothing but pictorially or mathematically we can say that probability of 0 is less than z is less than 0 0.41 plus, plus probability of 0 is less than z is less than 0 0.47. And if you will observe the table values, the value at 0 0.41 is 0 0.1591 and at 0 0.47 the value is 0 0.1808. Adding them up, we are going to get it as 0 0.3399 which is approximated to 0 0.34. So that is 34% candidates got the second division in the examination. So in this particular question, for this particular um, the example we have we are supposed to get the answer for here we are we have to have the first we have to find out the value of mu and sigma and that value we have found out using the uh, uh, probability or the probability has been given and finding out the z from the statistical table so whatever we have done so far that we, we are we are used to find out the value of a z uh, use uh, the probability using the z now we have done uh, exactly opposite of that using the probability we have found out the the value of z yeah and this is the self observation slide which is the two questions has been given to you along with the answers please do solve these questions if, if at all you have any query write me in the comment section if at all you are not getting the answers let me know i'll give you the solution for this particular questions thank you happy learning